So I would like to welcome you all uh, on the Weiler Wednesday uh, webinar. Uh, so today uh, we are going to talk about, uh, so my colleague Davorim Foshmon, who is the sector management at Weiler Abrasive Semia, will talk about the productivity increase and cost reduction with uh, Weiler grinding wheels for bearing, bearings. And uh, the webinar will last around uh, 30 minutes. We are recording it and it will be published as uh, all webinars still now on our webpage. So you are able to see it uh, and use it also uh, later. Uh, so before uh, we uh, jump further, uh, I know we are very well known now already with the Zoom, but anyhow, for the new attendees, I will explain shortly the tips. So uh, all participants have been muted. This is just to prevent any background noise. Uh, then uh, throughout the webinar, we will use several functions like, for example, chat function. Uh, so uh, you will see some messages in chat function and uh, in, around, in the middle of the webinar, we will uh, give you an opportunity to win a present, as always. So uh, the first, uh, the quickest answer, the right answer will win a present. Uh, then there is an icon questions and answers. So anytime throughout the webinar, you can submit the question or a comment, whatever. So you have, so please uh, welcome to submit it, but we will do questions and answers later. So after the presentation, uh, we will uh, offer some time uh, to answer uh, the questions. Uh, so uh, we have been uh, noticing that in some uh, previous webinars, some are trying to use icon raise hand. Please uh, note that this icon is not active. And if you have anything to, um, as I already mentioned, uh, ask uh, or comment, use the question and answer um, icon. Uh, this is regarding the tips. Uh, then I would like to use this opportunity to welcome you to visit us online. So uh, we are regularly updating our webpage, filerabrasives.com, where you can find um, comprehensive uh, information about our solutions, about our product, about our company, and also welcome to visit uh, and to follow our social media profiles and to check uh, our regular posts. Uh, so I think I'm done with uh, the intro and we can start with Davorin. So uh, Davorin, please take over. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Urshka. Uh, I would like to have a few words for the start. And today I presented an agenda. We will talk about the most common applications for the bearings grinding. We will, uh, we will present the phase grinding application of the inner and outer ring, the centerless grinding ring of the outer ring, the raceway grinding and the bore grinding. And then also advantages of the Weller solutions for the bearing applications. Next slide, please. We will start with uh, uh, to show a little uh, pictures of the bearings to have a better overview of the product, which uh, will be ground. We have here, the we can see the different types of the roller bearings. We see the spherical bearings, the cylindrical bearings, the tapered uh, roller bearings, and also the needle roller bearings. Next slide, please. And also now here we can see from this picture better how it looks like inside the, uh, the bearings. So we can see the common shapes of the bearings. The most common and typical is the ball bearings with number one. Second is then the spherical roller bearings. Then is also the taper roller bearings. Then is a barrel shape roller bearings and the needle roller bearings. Thank you. Next slide. Uh, this is one of the best pictures. So you can see also inside the bearing, the whole structure of the bearing. We see there is a inner ring and a outer ring and the rolls. And also we can see and have a better overview about the grinding surface from the inner ring. We grind internal grinding, the inner surface. Then it's from the inner ring is a raceway. Then it's uh, outer ring. Outer ring is uh, inside grinding is a raceway grinding and the outer diameter is OD grinding is with a centerless grinding and also then width 
uh, is ground on the phase grinding application. Next slide, please. We can see here uh, typical, most typical steel grades material for the bearings. It is made from the steel 100 chrome 6 or 100 chromium 2 or 100 chromium manganese. This is more tougher still. And typical hardness uh, after hardening is 58 to 62 Rockwell. Next slide, please. Bearings different grinding application. For the phase grinding, we are grinding the width of the bearing. Then for the centerless grinding, we are grinding the OD of the bearings. Then for the raceway, uh, which we saw from the previous picture, we grind both raceways on the inner ring and on the outer ring. Then is uh, internal grinding, and then also is a uh, ball grinding or rollers grinding applications. Next slide, please. For the phase grinding, we will start with the first uh, grinding application for the bearings. In the surface grinding, the contact area is very big, which creates heat during the process. It is also difficult to get enough coolant to the grinding area. Weller abrasive supplies both resinoid and vitrified cool surface grinding wheels. These wheels optimize stock removal rate and give long wheel life. We can see from the picture that is uh, phase grinding is uh, could be different. It is vertical or horizontal, and also from the horizontal there is diff a different approach of the bearing housing. Next slide, please. Here we can see most common products for the phase grinding, outer and inner cage. We can see the type. Type is uh, 36. That means uh, not inserted wheels and Z means uh, wheels with uh, slots for the cooling uh, and also for the coolant removal of the ground surface to make uh, all the time clean. And also it is possible the, the, the perforated grinding will be the small holes inside for the cooling effect. Uh, specification we see it is um, usually is aluminum oxide uh, noble aluminum oxide or mixture with the salt gel. Grid sizes are from 46 to 100 uh, different hardnesses and mostly resin bonded. Then the dimension we see it is from the 450 up to 900 millimeter diameter, then different uh, thicknesses and uh, most usually are not inserted. Next slide, please. Here we can see the case study for the phase grinding or double disc uh, surface grinding grinding parameters. Machine was uh, Naxos discus, uh, bearing ring uh, thickness or width grinding, steel grade, typical 100 chromium 658 to 62 hardness, competitor number one, and uh, working speed was 40 meters per second. Uh, our solution was uh, 760 millimeters. Uh, grinding wheels with uh, slots and uh, not inserted with a special mixer of the abrasive grains, grid 46, uh, very soft, hardness EF, and uh, special uh, resin bond. Added value for the customers, price uh, differentiation, our wheels had a 10% better price, grinding cycle, cycle was reduced up to 5% and uh, price per piece also was 5% uh, less. That means uh, for the total grinding cost for the annual turnover, 50,000 euros, it was a benefit for the customer roughly 10,000 euros. Once again, while there are advantages of our bills, lower cost per uh, price per piece, roughly 10%, shorter grinding cycle, 10% because our specific specification was uh, more aggressive and we could achieve also required surface roughness with the same specification. Always work on the safety. We all wheels are uh, according to the safety, high safety regulation, EN 12416. And we, these wheels optimize also stock removal rate and give long wheel life. Next slide, please. Uh, I will give the word to Urshka. Okay, thank you, Davorin. So as I mentioned at the beginning, we will make a short uh, pause uh, to give you a possibility to win a present. 
So uh, the first attendee, as uh, usual till now, to include the right answer in the chat function. So please be aware to use the uh, chat function. Uh, we'll receive the Viler HD camera. And the question is, so what is the maximum? Is it, if you are uh, paying uh, close attention when uh, Davonin was explaining the diameter, so what is the maximum diameter of Viler face grinding wheels? Please submit your answers. The first one wins the present and we will announce the winner at the end of the presentation. So back to Davorin. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Okay, thank you, Ushka. We will continue with the centerless grinding wheels. Weller Rebrezi supplies both resinoid and vitrified grinding wheels, which are tailored to suit the ring type and the grinding method utilized. For example, several or single pass, separate or combined roughing and finishing, true feed speeds, etc. The braces and bonds are chosen to fit the ring dimensions and to give maximum price performance combined with the long wheel life. Next slide, please. Here we can see most common centerless products type. It is type five, that means one recess or type seven, that means both time recess. One RS means uh, stacked together several pieces. Specification, it is a special blend of the aluminum oxide and uh, also could be possible also sol gel mixtures. Grid sizes are from 54 up to 120, even sometimes for the finer surface uh, requirement, even 180. And uh, typical most common dimensions in diameter 500 to 650, thicknesses from 250 to 600. And uh, yeah, that's the most important things. Next slide, please. Here we can see also a case study for the centerless grinding, grinding parameters machine. It was Herminghausen, bearing rings uh, OD grinding, still great, 58 to 62 Rockwell, competitor number one with the sol gel grain, working speed 40 meters per second, achieved uh, our target surface roughness RZ 1.5 to 2.5 micron, stock to be removed 0 0.45 millimeters. Our solution, we came with a solution, the wheels made from the three different uh, specification, stacked together straight, uh, starting with the grid size 60, then in the middle it was 80 and at the finish it was 150. So we can achieve in one uh, true fit centerless grinding application, everything from the great stock removal to the required surface finish requirements. Added value for the customers, price differentiation. Uh, we have uh, given the solution with the 20% lower price due to the special blend of the abrasives. In grand example, it was the same and price per piece was reduced for roughly 50%. What is the grinding wheels uh, cost for the annual turnover? Roughly 100,000 euros. That means uh, 20,000 euros cost savings. Our advantage is lower cost per price, roughly 10%. And uh, what was the very much interested that we could compete even with the Sintra aluminum oxide, that means all gel grain, the latest development. Next slide, please. We will go, we will continue with the next application. It is inner ring track grinding. While our abrasive supplies raceway grinding wheels with a specification chosen to grind as cool as possible. Uh, those wheels are designed to meet the, the form and surface finish requirements of the raceway to the specific machining parameters and with the maximized drastic interval. I just like to give the remark that uh, for the raceway grinding, this is really the highest level of the tolerances of the unbalance of the grinding wheel, of the uh, homogeneity, consistency of the grinding wheels because the surface finish requirements are very high. Next slide, please. Here we can see for the raceway grinding, uh, most common uh, products. Uh, mainly type one, that means straight grinding wheels or with a profile 1.8 uh, or with a profile R, R. 
specification it is mixed it is mixed uh, grains uh, noble aluminium oxide or mixture usually with uh, with uh, sol gel grain uh, grid size it is from 80 to 120 dimensions for from 300 to 660 diameter next slide please here we can see also case study for the raceway grinding, grinding parameters, machine uh, lid capping, uh, bearing rings, uh, uh, ear grinding, inner ring grinding, steel grades uh, 58 to 62, competitor number two, working speed, operating speed 110 meters per second. Surface required roughness uh, was 0 0.60 microns, stock to be removed 0 0.25, dressing cycle 20 pieces. After 20 pieces, it was dressed again and uh, 4.5 seconds. Our solution, the straight grinding wheel 610 by 16 by 203 with a special blend of uh, brazes, brazy grain, 120 m 6 b 35 an added value for the customers. Price difference, it was very much due to the special blend of the brazes. Grinding cycle was the same. Price per piece savings roughly 15%. That means for the annual turnover, 50,000 euros, uh, roughly 7,500 euros cost savings for the customers. Our advantage is cost savings increased dressing interval, and actually uh, we have reached the 90% close to the salt gel grain with much lower cost. We have achieved the same or better surface roughness finish requirements, and uh, we offer better technical uh, service. Uh, that means the upgrades we offered was every six months for the customers and tailor-made products. Uh, next slide, please. Then we will continue with the outer ring uh, track grinding. Outer ring tracks have many different shapes. Consequently, the operation types and the tooling solution varies a lot. The cool cutting abrasives and bonds of wild abrasive wheels are chosen to give optimum stock removal rate, combined with a high dressing interval and a long wheel life. Next slide, please. Then we have also application for the bore grinding. Internal grinding of the inner rings. Bore grinding involves the typical problems of internal grinding. A relatively small wheel with a few cutting edges, a large contact area, and the risk of non-rigidity. In the grinding spindle creates the demand for a very cool cutting abrasive. While the abrasives manufacturers bore grinding wheels with a conventional abrasive as well as a vitrified CBN. Next. Here we can see most common products for the bore grinding. Type one, or usually it is uh, with a profile F. Specification, it is a mixture of the special monocrystal with a sol gel grain. Uh, grid size is from 80 to 100 or 150 dimension smaller diameter from 16 up to 100 diameter next slide please we will continue with the ball needle and roll grinding application several grinding operations are required to manufacture balls needles and rolls while a has many years experience from all the types of operations and we constantly develop new abrasive tools for them. Next slide, please. Concept of the Weiler specification, for example, here is one typical specification for the centerless grinding wheels. It's a 72HA 54 stroke one, this is K7 V59. 72 HA means uh, type of abrasives. Uh, 54 is the grain size according to the FEPA. Uh, K, it is a hardness. 7, it is structure. And uh, V59 is the bond type of the vitrified bonded wheel. Next slide, please. Uh, while the abrasives grinding wheels design, properties of uh, our grinding wheels 
our combination of advanced ceramic abrasive technology and innovative bond system paired with uh, our precise manufacturing techniques results in wheels that provide one of the highest productive levels in the world. Consistency of our products according to the quality management standard ISO 9001 uh, for more than 20 years. Our safety requirements meet or exceed the highest safety regulation. It is uh, EN 12413 and US ANSI standard B7.1. Uh, we are member of OSA and FEPA organization also more than 20 years. We offer our products with a maximum operating speed up to 120 meters, for example, for the raceway grinding, uh, consistent surface finishes and consistent also quality of our products, little dressing required and uh, also grinding uh, ultra hard materials up to 64 Rockwell. Next slide, please. Safety recommendation. Uh, grinding wheels requires careful handling and storage. Protect the wheels from humidity, vibration and the rapid change of the temperature. The wheel must be fit easily onto the spindle. The wheel must be mounted with the blotter on the outside and the balance arrow facing downwards. Always use cardboard blotters between flange and wheel surface. Before mounting, always inspect the wheel for cracks and damages very important, especially, let's say, for the raceway grinding wheels. Never exceed the maximum permissible peripheral speed. Flange screws must be tightened in criss-cross segments and by using torque wrench. After mounting and prior to starting the grinding process, always run the wheel in idle mode for the five minutes. Uh, do the same after finishing grinding to flush the liquid from the surface. Next slide. Our references for the bearing industries. While it is among the largest producers of the grinding wheels for bearing industries, our wheels are designed for optimal performance for all major bearings manufacturer like Tinken or SKF or Scheffler. All these are global corporation worldwide spread. Next slide, please. Okay. Thank you. This was from my side for the presentation and I have to give the word back to, to the Orshka. Um, thank you, Davorin, uh, for your presentation. Uh, so before we jump uh, to the questions and answers, I would like to uh, announce the winner for the giveaway. And the winner is uh, Steve, uh, Mr. Steven Turnbull. So uh, I congratulate you. And uh, we will contact you regarding the um, shipment uh, details. And uh, in uh, this occasion, I would like to thank all uh, to the rest uh, who participated. So uh, we have received some questions and uh, we will uh, try to go through and uh, answer the questions. So now it's the time. If you have any kind of question, please submit it to the question and answer icon. And uh, we will try to answer it. Uh, the first question is, uh, the, what is the process of implementation of uh, your solution? Okay, no. thank you very much for the question. The, this is very important process uh, or most important process, how we can uh, uh, gather trust from the customers. First is uh, to collect all the data needed from the application side. Uh, that means this is uh, most important is intelligence of the of the data. So with the uh, right provided data, we, this is also much more easily for us to give the proper solution for the customers. Then when we gather all the data, when we check the data with our database and from the database and the existing solutions, we choose the proper solutions or together with the customer, if there is any new requirements or different requirements, we propose an upgrade, a new solution, and then we propose the trial specification. That means always we work in the, in the trials, the, after the trials, 
uh, has been done and sent to the customer after the feedback from the trials, then we offer, if the feedback is positive, then we offer, let's say, industrial tests. Uh, usually there are even more industrial tests, first industrial test, second industrial test, and then we can start with uh, regular shipments. It takes from uh, the start, from the beginning until the end, minimum six months. This is uh, for the answer, I think, for the first question. Maybe some more questions? Uh, yes, so we have another one. Uh, thank you, Davorin, for the first one. So uh, how can we reduce costs for centerless grinding application? Yes, uh, thank you for the question. Uh, centerless uh, grinding application is uh, quite specific. Um, we thought we know all the answers and then uh, again, we have solved some uh, new, uh, with, with, came with a new solution for the centerless grinding of application. We have together with um, um, special um, grain, abrasive grain manufacturer together developed the, the, the grains, which are very suitable for the centerless grinding application, which gives uh, uh, good cutting ability, uh, enough uh, uh, toughness of the grain and uh, staying uh, sharp for a long time. To, uh, that means less dressing needed and no overburning, overheating of the surface. And on uh, the other uh, hand, it has very competitive uh, um, price performance. So uh, it is our 77A or 772A uh, mixture uh, with the new grain. We propose a lot and we have uh, received a very good uh, feedback from our customers. Okay, thank you, Davorin. So we have another question. Uh, so from um, uh, one of the attendees. So uh, as he's writing, I have not seen any examples for grinding cylindrical or tapered rolls. Any qualities available for small and large dimensions? Yes, for the cylindrical or tapered uh, rollers, um, we are now develop developing the new product. That's why we had not, uh, well, we don't want to offer the, the we want to, to give the latest solution. We are now on the final stage of the development. We believe it will be available by the end of this year. It is uh, mostly on the, on the modeler machines uh, as conventional grinding wheels. Um, specially designed uh, to give the required uh, surface finish requirements and uh, enough stock removal. And also the, to, to keep the geometry uh, of the uh, taper or, or the straight roller. Okay, thank you, Davorin. So I mean, uh, the best is that uh, this uh, who, is, who has been interested leaves the uh, gives the contact per email, and uh, we will we will be in contact with him. We will we can also give him the maybe some then trials or whatever uh, we can start. Okay, so um, we will just touch the the last question, and then uh, the others we will follow up with each and every of you uh, via email. We have all your data. Uh, so the last question. Uh, so can you work with uh, the Weiler distributor when working with the big bearing manufacturers to achieve their business? Yeah, this is a little, uh, 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 this is the question. Uh, it depends also for, from the distributor. If the distributor uh, always is for the big system or big manufacturer, they are looking for the solution provider. If the our let's say if we are working with our distributor like a partner, and uh, we uh, exchange all the data, and uh, then it's possible to work with the like big end user also via partner via uh, distributor, but not on the way of the just reselling the product. It is not possible because uh, all these uh, major manufacturer they are looking for the solution provider. That means that. Uh, um, on-field testing presentation of uh, of our partners of us or together uh, is the best and uh, constant upgrades uh, on in the direction of the cost savings uh, these all 
uh, are mainly dedicated for the automotive uh, industry uh, bearings and uh, there is a big pressure on the on the cost so when we came to the solution we are always under pressure to give the maximum so basically the best way is to work together. So to work together, uh, yes. We, we have Weiler specialists for cutting and grinding and then we can find together the, we can offer comprehensive technical uh, support. So, uh, which is a very important um, thing regard to find the really optimized uh, solution. Okay, so thank you. Uh, we reached the finish. So at the end, I would just like to invite you to our next webinar when we will talk about spring and grinding and uh, cost optimization. So join us on 4th of November uh, at the same time. And um, if you are interested in this field, uh, welcome to join us. I wish you a great day. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye.